Welcome back everyone, thanks for joining me for another beer review. We are heading over to one of the machines now and we are heading over to the Heineken Blade. And this keg was released about a week and a half ago, I think, two weeks ago, week and a half ago. And it's the new cider, it's Orchard Thieves Cider. It's coming in at 4.5%. Now this apparently, I think, is replacing the Apfel Rauber, uh, which I think is basically the same drink, but it's produced in Belgium, so it's using Belgium apples. I don't know if it's different apples, as in green or red, but this one has been released. Uh, I think it's made from red apples. Uh, the apples are from Herefordshire. It's coming in at 4.5%, and like I say, I think it may well be replacing the Apple Rauber. Uh, I've reviewed the other one. That was quite sweet. Be interesting to see what this one is like, whether, if I can remember, there's any actual difference. It's an eight litre keg and I picked it up off Beowulf and it's 34.99. Now the Apple Rauber used to be 32.99, but I think that has gone up to 34.99. So prices have gone up anyway. So it looks like that's gonna be the going rate for it. So. Uh, I'm gonna shut up and get on with this. So I've got my Orchard Thieves glass at the ready. I'm gonna pause the video. We'll go over there, do a video of the pour, come back and take it from there. So let's get drinking. Or pouring even. <laughs> So, here we are, cider in a glass. A little bit of chill haze on the glass. Plenty of carbonation going up, as you can see. I think it is nucleated, this glass. We had about a finger of a sort of head on that, but it's gonna disappear. And it's a cider, that's what it does, isn't it? But it is hanging around a little bit. It's apple juice in color, shall we say. It looks as you'd expect. I don't think it looks any different. It maybe looks a little bit more sort of darker apple sort of colour than, than the Apple Rauba. But it looks all right, looks decent. So let's go in with the nose, see what we get. I want to smell apples, that's all I want to smell. That's what you need to be smelling. Yeah, lovely apple smell. Smells clean, smells crisp. Full of apple. A little bit of apple skin you kind of get in there on the aroma as well. And that's about it. Smells good, so let's dive in. Give her a taste and touch that screen before we disappear. Cheers. Oh. Mm. Right, let's go again. Body wise of the cider, we know generally they're light. I have had a few that have been, almost have feel quite heavy with a body, sort of body on it, but I know it don't make sense because it's cider, but some ciders do feel heavier than others. This one, it's certainly not poor, but I wouldn't say it's the best sort of body on a cider I've had. I will say it does feel like there's a little bit of wateriness in there. Not major, but it just feels like on the back end, not not as you drink, it's sort of on the back end. Uh, It is quite carbonated, you can't deny that. We may as well ignore the sort of mouthfeel and the smoothness of it. It is easy drinking. You do get a lovely apple taste and you sort of do get that feel of a red apple. I don't know, there's just something sort of in there that makes it feel like a red apple. It's actually quite dry. Uh, the Apple Rauber was quite sweet. This one for me, pardon me. It's a lot drier. It doesn't have that sweetness. It's just, it's not like a really dry cider that you sort of drink and dries your mouth out instantly. But there is a dryness to this. It's clean, it's crisp, it's refreshing. I'm 
day like today, that is, a day like today, that's dangerous to be honest, because it is so warm. I mean, it's not that it's dangerous because it's four and a half percent, it's dangerous because it's so warm and it's so drinkable that you could just end up getting rather silly on it uh, and end up in a bit of a mess, to be honest. Uh, but what do I think of it? I actually like it, I, and I, I I like it, and I prefer it to the other one, I think. Uh, the other one, this is showing how sweet the other one was. I don't mind a sweet cider, pardon me. Much prefer a dry cider. Pardon me again, I do apologize. But once you have this after having the other one, you sort of realize how sweet that is. So for me, yeah. If you like your ciders, you're going to like the Orchard Thieves, the new one on the blade. Uh, would I recommend it? Yeah, of course I would. Two ciders out, well, three now on the system. The one could be going, like I said, the Apple Rauber. If this is going to be the one that stays, it's going to be the only Apple cider on there, if you like, the only sort of normal sort of cider. And if you like your ciders like that, you're going to like this. Uh, yeah, give it a go, pick it up. Maybe, if you like the Apple Rauba, maybe order a keg of each. Uh, maybe put them in one after another, unless you've got two blades, of course. Whack them in each machine, and then you can do your own comparison of them. But I would recommend this. I think it's nice enough. Uh, Going to quench your thirst. Give us a thumbs up from me. So, uh, thank you all for watching. Feel free to subscribe. Enjoy your day, and I'll see you again soon on another beer review. Cheers.